comes from Danny out of Chautauqua, New York. Hi, Alan. This is Danny in Chautauqua, New York, just south of Buffalo. I have a, a cool season mix lawn that I did a major reno last fall, according to the plan, overseeding and all that good stuff. My question is about grubs looking ahead to the early summer here. And I, uh, during my overseed last fall, did find some grubs. So I put down the Bayer 24-hour grub killer. But I'm calling because I've got a bag of Scott's Grub X in the garage. And I uh, noticed on one of your older videos that the approach seems a little more reserved. You kind of suggest to wait until you actually maybe see some brown spots or see some physical grubs before you treat. But then in the guides, it kind of says if you have had a grub problem in recent past or you know your neighbors have that you want to get the preventative down. So just looking for your suggestion as to when I should maybe apply that grub X or if I should take the approach of waiting and seeing if there's a problem this year. So the thing I'm keying in on that Danny says here is he has some grub X already. So he's already bought it. And then the other thing is, is that last year, let me just make sure yeah, last fall, when he was doing some overseeding, he did find some grubs. So here's two things. He's got evidence that his lawn or neighboring lawns were infested with grubs last year. Whether they did any damage or not, you've got evidence that they are local, that they are there, that they are around within the last year or even two or three years. And then the second piece of knowledge that you have is you already purchased the grub X. So I would say go ahead and throw that down. And right now is the time to do it. Make sure you get it watered in. We're going to talk a little bit about the different products that you have and what the grub X is. But that's a great product. Get it in. Get it watered in. And you'll be protected. And that way, if you do have struggles in the summer for whatever reason that could be, and you do, you know, you got to go on vacation, you miss a watering, you get a heat spell over 90. And because he's in New York and cool season grass is over 90, don't do well. I don't care what you're doing, what kind of maintenance plan you're on. Sustained times over 90 when you're on vacation will turn it brown and then you can't get it back out of dormancy. I'm just giving you a scenario here, Danny. That's a terrible scenario I'm giving here, but you got to live with it for right now, at least here in our little world of the podcast. So you come home from vacation, your lawn is crispy brown from five days in a row of 90. You get to the fall time and you're wondering, man, am I going to find grubs? No, because you put the preventative down. You have peace of mind. You know that you're not going to have a problem. See? So that's one of the reasons why you would treat for grubs right there is just to have that peace of mind going forward. You have evidence that they've been around. Yes, you should put down a preventative for grub worms. Make sure you water it in. Now, let me talk a little bit about the strategy that I always employed up north and the one that I employ here as well in Florida. But up north, I had turf type tall fescue and I had a very thick lawn that I always thought was bulletproof. When I say I thought it was bulletproof, I knew that it could recover from anything. I had trained that lawn myself. It was strong, it was healthy, and it was vigorous. Almost like if you have a, a, your son that you've trained in a certain sport, let's say you've trained your son to be a wrestler, and you yourself are a champion wrestler, and you've trained your son to be a champion wrestler, and when you go into any house, you know that he's going to win. You know that he's going to have a fighting chance. You know that he's going to be able to win through it, and if he doesn't, you know you're going to be able to be there to coach him through it. But for the most part, you've trained with him. You've watched him grow. You've seen his current and past record, and you know what your son can do, and you have confidence. And that's how I felt about my lawn. So I did not treat for grub worms. I did not put grub preventative down, even though other lawns in the area had had grubs and I had found grubs in my lawn, you know, here and there because I just knew it could fight through. But what I would do is if in the off chance I did get some damage in the fall, I always was able to stay irrigated through the summer for the most part. But even if I missed something, even if I did get some damage in the fall time, I would just spot treat using what he's mentioning here, a 24-hour grub killer, which the active ingredient I would use at that time was called Dilox. And I don't think... You get that very often anymore, but that's what I would go for back then. You just water it in, and it kills the grubs right away. I knew that any type of damage that the lawn would sustain, if I did need to give it that pickup, if I did need to treat, it was going to be spots only. And so the idea there was I practiced integrated pest management, which says, hey, if you have a chance to use a, a small amount of product just to cure one spot, that's a little bit better of a strategy than blanket spraying something and hoping that you know, you're preventing something. Now, in our case here... With Danny, we know that he's got grubs in his lawn in the last year, and we know that there's probably grubs in the area then. So that would forego that strategy, and that would say, no, you have, you have affirmative you know, enemy in the area. We're not working on a, on a reactive strategy. We are definitely going defensive all the way because we've got enemies in the area. You kind of look at it that way. But I didn't do that. I would 
kind of be a little bit more cowboy with my lawn to shout out to Connor Ward there. And I would let it fight through some problems. And I used to get problems with sod webworm as well. And I have a video, if you go to my channel, it's an older one, where I actually show you some sod webworm. I actually find them. I show you the damage that they're doing. And I would treat that, spot treat with a little bit of Dilox, just a super small amount of chemical down, boom. And I felt like that was a good way to go after it. So that was the strategy that I did. And that's how a lot of you might want to go as well. Now the